So in this session, we are going to discuss about the identity for multiplication and division. Now let us try out start our discussion in trying to find out the identity for multiplication. Now if you recollect from our earlier lecture, what we are trying to do when trying to find out an identity is to find out a number which when operated upon with another number gives me the same number itself. So for multiplication what we do is we take a number let's say 5 and multiply it by 1. So what do we get? We get 5 again. Or let me take some another number let me take 99 and then I multiply 99 by 1 I still get 99 again. Okay and I also take another any let, let, let me take one more number what let's say it's 1600 multiplied by 1 it gives me 1600 right so no matter whatever uh, number right whatever number we multiply it by 1 it results in the number itself now this is one way let us try to multiply this the other way around that is we multiply a natural number with 1 that is I'll be doing 1 multiplied by 5 the result of this is still 5 and when I say 1 multiplied by 99 that I still get 99 as the result and similarly when I multiply 1600 with 1 I still get 1600 so this implies that no matter whichever way I multiply 1 with a whole number it gives me the same whole number as the result hence we say that 1 is the identity for multiplication and let us highlight this so one is the identity for multiplication now having said that let us discuss about the identity for division Now in this case again we will try to divide a number by 1. So let us say that we divide 5 by 1. So we still get the number 5. Similarly when I divide 99 by 1 I still get the number 99 back. Now this way it holds true and it looks to be that 1 might be the identity for division but wait a minute what happens when I divide 1 by 5 the result is not same it will be another number it is not same as this one similarly when I do 1 by 99 I will not get this number back here so if you see that when I divide 5 with 1 although I get the same result but when I do it the other way around that is I divide 1 with 5 the result is different right it will be in uh, decimal which you will again learn later I am not covering that here at the moment so 1 is not the identity for multiplication so that was our discussion on the identity for multiplication and division so to summarize all our learnings on the identity right uh, 0 is the identity for addition and 1 is the identity for multiplication see you in the next lecture bye